Hi everyone, Roel Dionisio here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure and verify VLANs on a Cisco switch. Here is a layer 2 switch, my Cisco 3550 with 48 fast Ethernet ports. I have one server and one PC connected to it. First off, what is a VLAN? A VLAN is a layer 2 logical network. Devices on that VLAN are part of the same broadcast domain, meaning any broadcasts sent on that VLAN are received on devices in the same VLAN. Broadcasts do not transmit to other VLANs. Conver configuring a VLAN is very simple. I'm consoled into my 3550, and by default, ports are assigned to VLAN 1. You can see this by issuing the command show VLAN brief. Right here at the top of the list is, a v is VLAN 1 and all the interfaces are part of VLAN 1. So let's create our VLAN by entering global configuration mode and type in VLAN and the VLAN number. So I'm going to use VLAN 10. Notice the prompt changes into VLAN configuration mode. In this prompt, I'm going to give VLAN 10 the name of servers. You can name the VLAN whatever you prefer. It's a description for you because documentation is your best friend. To associate a device on VLAN 10, we must enter conf interface configuration mode for the port that should be in VLAN 10. If a server was on switch port fast ethernet 1, I would type in interface F0 slash 1 to begin configuration on that interface. And as you can see, the configuration mode changes from config VLAN to config IF for interface. Type in switch port mode access to make this switch port an access port. In this mode, the port will not become a trunk. The next command will associate the switch port with VLAN 10. And that switch port access VLAN 10. And that's it. We've configured a VLAN and associated a port to that VLAN. Next, let's verify our configuration. First, issue the show VLAN brief command to, sh to ensure VLAN 10 is on the list. And sure enough, VLAN 10 is there and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is in VLAN 10. And that is the interface that we configured to be part of VLAN 10. And we can also see that the VLAN status is active. Another way to verify your configuration is to do the show run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 command. We should see commands switch port access VLAN 10 and also switch port mode access, the two commands we configured for this interface. Devices on the same VLAN will all be in the same subnet. If server 1 had an IP address of 10.1.1.1 slash 24 and PC1 or PC2 had an IP address of 10.1.1.2 slash 24 then they would be able to communicate and they're also on the same VLAN this would be fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and let's say I configured fast Ethernet 0 slash 15 to be on VLAN 10 as well they would be able to send traffic to each other and vice versa now let's say we added a new PC down here and this one was placed on VLAN let's say 20 do you think PC 3 would be able to communicate with server 1 and PC 2 no because if PC 3 had an IP of 10.1.20.1 slash 24 then PC 3 wouldn't be able to communicate to server 1 or PC2 because it is on a different subnet and this is a layer 2 switch in order for devices on different subnets to communicate with each other we would need a device such as a router or a switch that can do layer 3 routing so putting it all together we're gonna go into global configuration mode create a VLAN on VLAN 10 name it Verify with show VLAN brief. There's your VLAN 10 with the servers. 
go into interface configuration mode on the interface and issue switch port mode access switch port access VLAN and the number and verify again there's my interface on VLAN 10 we'll check the actual interface configuration there's interface fast Ethernet 01 on switch port access VLAN 10 and switch port mode access Thank you for watching.